Hey friends, welcome back. So I have been asked this question quite a lot. How do I calculate my subtotal, especially when I have a percent off coupon at CVS? And also, what order do I give my coupons to the cashier? So first, I give my coupons to the cashier. Um, at my store, we have to give them all at once. I do think it varies for everyone at each store, but they made a rule probably late last year or early at the beginning of this year this year that we had to hand over everything manufacturer coupons crts and extra bucks all at once there's no more of doing the manufacturer coupons then the crts then for them to hit total to tell me how much i owe and then i hand over this uh extra bucks we can no longer do that in my area at all of the stores so what we have to do is I always stack my coupons, manufacturer coupons first. Underneath there are my CRTs and at the very end are my extra bucks. So I guess on the very bottom of the pile it is extra bucks. In the middle it is CRTs and on the very top it is manufacturer coupons. I always want my manufacturer coupons to come off first. And then sometimes my extra bucks and my CRTs are mixed in so it doesn't really matter. And then at the very end, they always hit the button. Like last night, I had a 30% off. So they hit that button at the very end. So it comes off the total. I don't know how the system calculates it, but it comes off the total before coupons. Now, um, what I will tell you guys is that I never, ever figure my breakdown early during the week. It is a waste of time to me because... The 30%, the 20%, whatever percent off coupon you get, it does not come out to be that exact amount when you are calculating your total when you actually go check out. So for me, I just find that it doesn't benefit me to waste time during the week to do a full breakdown on my percent off coupons. So what I do is when I'm getting ready to check out, when you guys hear me say I'm going to figure my total, I think I pretty much do that a lot in the videos when I lay it all out and show you guys everything that I'm getting and then all of the coupons. I literally sit on the floor, I add up everything, all of my items, then I add up how many manufacturer coupons I have. I add up how many CRTs I have, and then I just do times 30% on my calculator, and then whatever that amount is for my 30%, um, I subtract that, and it's never, ever accurate. It's never accurate. Like last night, I think it said that on my calculations that it was going to be $29. However, the register took off $19, but I'm always pretty accurate on the estimates of how many extra bucks to give. So... I sit on the floor, break out my calculator, and I, sub I add up everything. Like last night when I added up everything, my total was, I think, I can't remember what the total was when I added it up. But then I subtracted all of my manufacturer coupons, so I knew exactly how many manufacturer coupons the total. I added up all of my CRTs, and then I subtracted that from my total. So whatever that total is, then I guesstimate how much my 30% off is going to be. Um, and then I'll calculate, okay, I need to give them this amount of extra bucks. So it's always a chance that I'm going to take that I'm going to overpay in extra bucks. But what I do is I give a lesser amount. That way, if I do have to pay a small out of pocket, I'll rather pay that versus losing an extra buck. So if I would have calculated that I needed to pay $30 in extra, or let's just say $40 in extra bucks, well, then that means I would have overpaid because I rolled $37 in extra bucks and one of my extra bucks would have been lowered or a coupon, a CRT wouldn't have went through and it would have been wasted because it would have been kicked back to me that it didn't go through. So I always underdo it. That way, if I do have to pay a small amount of cash out of pocket, then I rather pay a dollar or two dollars and then keep the full value of my extra bucks. So last night I hit the nail on the head. I rolled $37 in extra bucks and um, I had a zero total and all of my coupons went through so it was perfect. So again, that is how I do it. Um, you know, I just actually calculated in my head and I just don't spend time typing it out during the week because I know that number one, there might be a CRT that I get on Sunday. So when I go scan my card at the red box on Sunday, I don't know what's coming to me until Saturday night. 
at midnight, I look at my phone under my CVS app and I see what coupons are coming to me. So I can do all of this during the week, but it's going to change when I get to the store on Sunday because I just may have gotten a new CRT. So I'm going to have to recalculate my entire total, which means that I wasted my time during the week. And you guys know um, my time is like every minute of my day is pretty much accounted for so that is why i don't do the breakdowns for the percent off coupons um when i'm doing a breakdown for the ten dollar challenge or i can just pretty much tell you guys what to do with what coupons that's fine but actually figuring out the percent off it's just a lot of work and it's never going to be the same when i check out so um yeah so i hope that this is helpful guys again your storms may be different but i have to give over all of my extra bucks at the same time when i'm checking out i can't say what's my subtotal and then hand my extra bucks because it voids out their system in my area and they get a void on their end and they're not allowed to do that anymore so again we have to give them all at once and it's been working out great for me so i don't have any problems um at all i just calculate before i check out so that is it guys thank you so much for watching i love you to the moon and back and i'll see you in my next video bye